abdominal lavicity, also known as central lavicity and tranquil lavicity, is a condition when excessive abdominal fat around the stomach and abdomen has built up to the extent that it is likely to have a negative impact on health. Central obesity confers a significant threat on the cardiometabolic health of individuals, independently of overall obesity. It means, even if a person has normal body mass and normal weight, he or she still may have health risks because of abdominal fat. Visceral and central abdominal fat and waist circumference show a strong association with type 2 diabetes. Excess fat in this area can lead to the release of fatty deposits into the bloodstream. Fatty build up in the blood is responsible for the majority of negative health consequences associated with obesity, such as type 2 diabetes, glucose intolerance, high blood pressure, endometrial cancer, arteriosclerosis, insulin resistance, altered metabolic profile, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, and obesity-related lipid disorder. An excess of adipose visceral fat is known as central obesity, the fat belly or beer belly effect, in which the abdomen protrudes excessively. This body type is also known as apple-shaped, as opposed to fear-shaped, in which fat is deposited in the hips and buttocks. Central obesity is associated with a statistically higher risk of heart disease, hypertension, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. With an increase in the waist-to-hip ratio and overall waist circumference, the risk of death increases as well. Developing asthma due to abdominal obesity is also a main concern. As a result of breathing at low lung volume, the muscle are tightier and the airway is narrower. It is commonly seen that people who are obese breathe quickly and often, while inhaling small volumes of air. The currently prevalent the cause of obesity is net energy imbalance. The organism consumes more usable calories than it expends, waste, or discards through elimination. Some studies indicate that visceral adiposity, together with lipid dysregulation and decreased insulin sensitivity, is related to the excessive consumption of fructose. Greater meat consumption has also been positively associated with greater weight gain. A study has shown that alcohol consumption is directly associated with waist circumference and with a higher risk of abdominal obesity in men, but not in women. Other environmental factors such as maternal smoking, estrogenic compounds in the diet, and endocrine disrupting chemicals may be important also. Hypercortisolism, such as Cushing's syndrome, also leads to central obesity. Many prescription drugs, such as dexamethasone and other steroids, can also have side effects, resulting in central obesity. There are various ways of measuring abdominal obesity, including absolute waist circumference, 102 cm or 40 inches in men, and 88 cm or 35 inches in women. Waist-hip ratio it is the circumference of the waist divided by that of the hips, or 0.9 for men and 0.85 for women. And the last one is the sagittal abdominal diameter. Sagittal abdominal diameter is a measure of visceral obesity, the amount of fat in the gut region. SAD is the distance from the small of the buck to the upper abdomen. In those with a body mass index under 35, intra-abdominal body fat is related to negative health outcomes independent of total body fat. Intra-abdominal or visceral fat has a particularly strong correlation with cardiovascular disease. As a general guide, 
Increased obesity-related health risks are associated with a waist circumference, greater or equal to 94 cm in men, and 80 cm in women. If a man has waist circumference greater than 102 cm, he is at a substantially increased risk. As a female with a waist circumference greater than 88 cm, a waist circumference greater than 102 or 120 cm for men and 110 cm for women puts these individuals at extremely high danger for obesity-related health issues. Naturally, different ethnic cities have different body builds and proportions. Therefore, people of different ethnic cities have different waist circumference cut off points. Asians have a naturally slimmer, fetlite frame and therefore the waist circumference cut off for Japanese, Chinese, and South Asian people is lower than for Caucasians. This means that if an Asian and Caucasian person of the same gender were thought to have a waist circumference of 94 cm, the Asian person would be at much greater risk of developing obesity-related disease. For those European, the waist circumference for male is 94 and for female is 80. The South Asian, Chinese, Japanese, and of South and Central Americans, male must have 90 and female is 80. For Africans and East Mediterranean and Middle Eastern, the waist circumference for male is 94 and for female is 80. 50% of men and 70% of women in the United States between the ages of 50 and 79 years it now exceed the waist circumference. There's hold for central obesity. A permanent routine of exercise, eating healthy, and during periods of being overheat, consuming the same number of fewer calories than used will prevent and help fight obesity. A single pound of fat yields approximately 3,500 calories of energy. And weight loss is achieved by reducing energy intake or increasing energy expenditure, thus achieving a negative balance. A 2006 study published in the International Journal of Sport Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism suggests that combining cardiovascular or aerobic exercise with resistance training is more effective than cardiovascular training alone in getting rid of abdominal fat.